Okay, something simple today. I uh, got this uh, toilet tank with uh, all the parts. So I'm going to place this uh, the fuel line, the supply line, and I'm gonna replace the uh, pretty much all the hardware inside the toilet, except for the handle. I just replaced the handle like uh, a few days ago. Alright, so let's get it started first. Shut off the water. Don't know what happened there, but anyway, let's shut off the water. Alright, so flush the toilet, keep holding it. You want all of the nice drop out of there as much as possible. Remove the tank, the lid for the tank. Alright, so this fill valve I'm gonna replace because I'm gonna replace this uh, flush valve, this whole thing. The handle is, uh, I replace it brand new, so I'm not gonna touch that one. The screw, the bolts holding from the tank, for not to the ball, that probably will be a problem because uh, I will place a few of these in this house and those bolts, uh, the holes for the bolts are very small and the new ones I got probably will not fit. So I will just replace the washers uh, for the bolts. Uh, that's all I can do unless I could get the proper tools to enlarge the holes a bit without cracking the tank which I don't need to risk doing that right now uh, it's still usable so I will need that right, let's get all the water out first yeah you want to get as every drop of the water out if you could that way you don't have to clean up the, uh, the floor because whatever water drip on the ground it might eventually go down below this floor so as much as possible is good because once you take off the tank it's gonna drip everywhere and you're still gonna have to clean it up so might as well do it beforehand so um, what I'm doing is I just use a towel you can use a vacuum wet vac if you want yeah, if you have it on your hand uh, I don't bring mine uh, it's too small of a job to carry another big bag around. Get okay, one more tool to carry. Just too many tools. And besides, it's right beside the toilet. You got a drain right there. Right where you're working at. The toilet. Ah, I see. There's the... Uh, there's these uh, balls. That's from all flapper chains yeah there's some in the in the tank yeah so i would place this before maybe it was me uh -uh, i don't remember maybe it was actually it was oh shoot totally forgot about it i did replace it yeah there's a uh, few of them went flying ah that's why i couldn't find it all right my fault Okay, so the water is uh, pretty much all out. Maybe a few drops. We don't really care about a few drops. Cross on it so I can have a good seat. I'm gonna take off the handle first. I'm taking off the handle because uh, I'm keeping the handle. And so I don't want to forget it and damage it in any way. I'm 
just just take off the handle and save it. Just remove the chain. Right, to remove the handle is uh, it's pretty easy. Uh, toilet fan handles they thread in counterclockwise. Huh? So here's the front. So they thread in this way. This way. That's when they tighten. To remove them, just go the other way to untighten them. This way. Right. That's only for uh, it's something what they call neck handed thread. So it goes neck to tighten, so it's going left to tighten and right to loosen. Yeah, simple stuff. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so next I'm going to disconnect the holes. Get my towel ready because it's gonna be some water dripping down. Adjustable wrench is good. Can adjust it to different size. So counterclockwise to release. Yeah, this pipe is very uh, loose, so I'm gonna have to hold it. It's very tight. Oh, anyway, I'm going to replace this hose anyway. Yeah, so somebody probably uh, over tightening it because it was leaking or something. Yeah, that's a lot of tightening. Okay, anyway. Finally. So the top loosen the top if I could. If not, I'm gonna get a wrench or pliers, but it loosen with my finger, so that's good. Oh see with that loosened, water just drip right down. Yeah, airflow. I'm gonna throw this out away. I'm gonna replace it with a with a new one. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna do is remove the tank the bolts that's holding the tank to the bolt. Okay, so you need a flathead. It's not a screwdriver that go in to the tank and then you need a there you go you need a wrench to remove the nut down here or to hold on to the nut and loosen the, the screwdriver or the bolt or hold on to the bolt and use a wrench to loosen the nut either way right, let's get it done Screwdriver in the screw and a wrench on the bottom. Right, so I could crank the screw just loose. I could turn it, it's fine. Okay, when it's loose enough, you probably could use your finger to undo the nut on the bottom. Yeah, it's much faster than uh, uh, using the wrench. Okay. Alright, 
Here the whole assembly goes like this. That's the old stuff. Alright, let's do the other side. So that's both bolts removed. Now I can just nip the tank up slowly, gently, and everything comes right up. That's what it looks like. This is butt. Okay, before I continue, I'm gonna wipe that sp the toilet. Just clean it up a little bit, so I don't forget. Because once you install the tank back on, you're never gonna touch this area again. So trust me, this is the best time to clean it. The only time to clean it. <laughs> All these black spots they're from the rubber that's worn out the seal okay. don't go crazy with this cleaning is nobody's gonna see it anyway you just want a piece of mine right okay so that's that all right so next we're gonna assemble the parts in here Disassemble all the parts. So I'm gonna take, gonna clean up the residual water. Flip it onto the flat side. And turn it facing this way. So that the spot gasket, the spot. So we're gonna remove the spot. Just a rubber piece, foam, rubber foam, whatever. I think it is foam or rubber, whatever it is. Don't really matter. So this one. This is the one. Uh, that's a spot wing. Most people will not have a wrench that's big enough to remove that. So. I have this one. It's a filter, uh, oil filter remover. It fits perfectly. It's adjustable. Big or small. Okay. 
just grip onto it and just crank it clockwise. Counterclockwise. Yeah, make sure you know the direction you're going, huh? You crank it clockwise, you're gonna crack the, uh, the bowl. Or the tank. I'm sorry, the tank. Oh, shoot. The bowl is the bottom one. Yeah. Toilet the tank. Right. The water tank. Right, so it's loosening. So that is the flush valve. Flush drain, whatever you want to call it. Flush valve. We moved from the tank, throw it away. Now, this part, that's a fuel valve. Okay, so if you want to save your finger, you could just use a uh, wrench, just open up the groove, just align it to the groove and turn it. Counterclockwise. There you go. Loosen it. And you can just roll it right off. <coughs> and just pull it up. There's your fuel valve. Mm, looks nice, like usable, but I'm gonna throw it away anyway. Right, so, clean the bottom. Yeah, looks like that's big guy, so I'm gonna use a scraper to scrape a little bit. You want a flat surface, even though it might be stained, discolored, but it, have, it should be flat. Because uh, that way the seal will sit properly instead of leaving a gap where water could uh, escape. So that is very important having a flat surface. Doesn't have to be very clean, really nice looking, but flat, smooth. Plumbing is all about seals. Have a good seal and water won't escape. If you have a good seal, the water won't escape everywhere and you have a big leak. So inside, just wipe it down, make sure no bumpy spots. Okay, so that's for the openings, make sure all the openings are good. Here at the tank. Doesn't really matter, just appearance. Okay, so we're going to be inserting the new one, the old one. The old one will. Hold on, let me see what's the new stuff. What's the new stuff? Alright, so that's the new stuff I'm gonna use, the drain valve. Flash valve, drain, whatever. Because I used this product before, uh, a few of them. So I know there's a little problem with this. I tried with solving it, but uh, it doesn't work. You cannot resolve the problem. So, thing is, the bolts that come with it, just too big. There's a bolt. Come back to the old one. Just a little bit bigger. And what's the problem you said? Well, let's see. It won't go in. If you can't go in, it's useless. So what's, be, what's happening, I have to use the old bolt But I'm gonna use the new washer that came with it So it's gonna be fine for now Until I get a new toilet or when there's something wrong And then I will enlarge the opening 
and we place the bolt in the future. Nothing near. Yeah, the washer is uh, the wearing out. You can see the black spot in the tank. That's from the washer, the black washer. So first thing first, I'm gonna put this thing on. So just slide it right through. Take the uh, spot wing, the retaining nut, spot wing, whatever you want to call it. In, if it doesn't come up. Okay, don't tighten it too much yet because you need to make sure this thing's angled properly. You want like 90 degree perpendicular. Yeah, something, whatever, 90 degree. So once you see it's at 90 degrees, somewhere around that doesn't have to be exact. Then you can try to tighten it. Okay. Yeah, spinning. spinning, it, it's not very good for the finish. Tighten it with your finger first. And then use your spot wrench. And while holding on to the inside part, tighten the, the ring on the outside. Oh, maybe two nerves. Don't force it too much, or you're gonna crack the wing, or even worse, crack the tank. Okay, that should be pretty snug. Gasket, spot gasket. This sits that goes on there, and then sits on that, and then you compress it right down to form the seal. This model has the uh, notches. These notches they are pre-formed, so you just have to line up with the ring. The notches on the wings. If I could find it, if I could find it. Right, so that went inside smoothly. Now I'm going to install the fuel valve. So this is the model I got. The uh, Fruit Master 20 fuel valve. Let's see. It's pretty good. It's okay. Alright, so I need to determine the height. So to adjust it, you just loosen this wing. Uh, you could pull, pull. You could pull to 
to make adjustment for the height. Right. So you should test it first because once it goes in, you really don't want to take it apart to, uh, to adjust it again. Even though it's not that hard for this model, but still, it's easier if you uh, do a quick dry fit. Just a dry fit. It's not a finalized uh, height. So it goes in, and look at your water level, and it's almost touching the top, so that's good. Alright, so I'm gonna keep that height. So after I find that height, I will knock this back down, the wing, lock it down so it doesn't move too much. No, not supposed to move. Goes in. Yeah, I put that rubber washer in. Goes in there. And this outlet hole, make sure it's facing the fill valve. Otherwise, you're gonna well, you're gonna spend more time trying to adjust it. And the nut. Tighten it from the bottom. Gonna hold down to the inside while you turn it the outside so it doesn't move. Ah. Okay, so hand tighten and then just one quick turn on this one. Yeah, just never bit too snug up. Alright, fill valve, drain valve installed. Gonna set it on. Gonna see it on the tank. Okay, with the uh, drain valve sitting right into the middle opening. Okay, with the toilet sitting up there, uh, mine is uh, leaning, leaning against the wall, so that's fine. Washer, bolts go through the washer, that goes through the toilet tank opening, this opening goes through the toilet, it's come off from the bottom, there you go, that's from the bottom. Now this metal washer, the old one, it will still fit, it might still be good, but the new one come with a stainless steel washer, it will fit, the nut does not fit because it requires the uh, new bolt. So because I'm using the old bolt, I could use a new washer, new rubber washer in there already, new stainless steel washer, and the old uh, nut that works with the uh, the bolt. So just have to put the washer on and the nut on. Yeah, usually this takes two hands. 
So washer and nut. And same thing for the other side. The old bolt, new washer. Go through the hole. New washer and old nut. So first gonna do hand tightening first. Gonna rotate both sides so it remain in an even level place. So it'll be even in level. Right, so that's not tightening it is snug. So that just by hand, so you're gonna see all this space. So you're gonna tighten, tighten, uh, hold the screw inside and tighten the nut until this space is gone. And these are uh, the the ceramics; they just touching each uh, each other. Don't crush against them; just touch them. So all the the front and the back, just touch them. And same on this side, slowly from go from this side and then do that side. Alright, here we go. Let's tighten them. So screwdriver inside, holding on to the screw or the bolt and tightening it the nut on the outside. Tightening the nut instead of trying to tighten it the bolt. Uh, prevent the bolt from stripping. Okay, when you try to turn that bolt with a snot screwdriver, it might actually strip that little snot and your bolt might wear out. Once you have a strip bolt, oh, the strip head for the bolt, that bolt becomes almost useless and you're gonna be kicking yourself very soon. tighten on one side too much, yeah, you gotta rotate. Okay, so now the bolts, now the bolts are all nice and snug. You can test it by trying to wiggle it. Yeah, it's not making a <coughs> Make, it's not making any major movements and it's not rocking, you know, it's tight. Don't go too crazy over tightening it because you might end up cracking the bowl or the tank, the water tank or the bowl, both of them, and then you're gonna have to go out and buy a new toilet. Right. So, this one is a drain valve. I'm gonna align it. There's a water line. Water line marking, so I'm gonna go just above it somewhere. I don't know, half inch, one inch, whatever. So when the water is overfilling, it will go down the drain instead of out the tank and over your floor. So this one, I just have to loosen this nut, pull it up, and now I'm gonna tighten it so it doesn't move. When you tighten it, usually also they have a compression fitting. There's somewhere some kind of seal, and you will prevent the water go down this tube in the middle. Otherwise, it will be filling nonstop. Alright, so here, 
connection fluid that goes into the flush valve and I believe it goes this way goes right over here let's see if I could do it with one hand So you have to open this a little bit, stick it on there. Yeah, not easy with one hand. Okay, two hands. Two hands. Yeah, two hands. All right, so that's all. Here's a fill tube, well, overflow tube, overflow water tube. So when it's flushing, it will fill in the bowl at the same time. Just stick it on. Now you're gonna adjust it. And look at this spot opening. Go right in there. Just make a mark and cut it. And stick it on. Okay, so I got a pair of cutters. You can use scissors, whatever. Something, just something to cut it with. All right, so I'm gonna cut it over here. Just stick in. Just has to push fit it in. It's free, so when you push it in, you will stay. Things require two hand operation, huh? Right. So there you go, that's it. Uh, we'll test the water level once we plug in. So, flash handle. Or the toilet handle got the old one that was pretty much new stick it in and throw it on counterclockwise left hand and just give it a little snug a little bit of snug uh, or a lot of snug whatever you want to do as long as you don't break it Yeah, that should be good. Alright, so this chain, you're gonna have to adjust it. Uh, so it's too long, when it's too long, it doesn't flush properly, so I just, just have to adjust it. Can make it too short, but if it's too short, it doesn't uh, close properly, then you will leak water all the time. Oh, what did I do? Let's see, what did I do? What did I do? Oh, I did much better. Ah, here we go. Uh, 
Alright, so it's pretty snug, might be, yeah, that's a little bit too short because if you press down and the chain still moves, it's too short. Alright, one chain longer. So figure out where I am and then gonna adjust it one chain longer. So it will be this one. Well lady. Connected water supply. Alrighty, so connect the top, just thread it in. Hand tighten should be enough. Bottom, you might have to twist the holes a little bit to get it to fit. That's what's good about these braided hoses. They're flexible, you could twist them to a different positions. As long nice as you don't kink them too much, the water will flow. Get it in. Maybe that's why. Yeah, this is a very tight spot, very close. So, not the easiest to get it on. Did I get it? Did I get it? No, I did not. It's cross threaded. Yeah, it wasn't on. No, it's on. No, it's on. Uh. Alright, because of how tight this spot is, yeah, it's too short. Uh, this space is too short, so the hose is putting another pressure on the connection. That's why it's not easy to remove or install them. So it's hard to use a wrench. To tighten it. So I guess that's why the, the previous hose was uh, the old hose that was on here. I had to use that wrench many many times just to loosen it because too much pressure on it. Just from the feeling itself, just too much pressure because of how close it is between these two distances. Right. So let's just tighten it without using too much energy, although you might just crack this whole thing. I really don't want to crack, crack this valve right now. Alrighty, that seems to be on tight. So the supply lines on, handles on, fuel valve in, flight valve in. Alright, let's turn on the supply line. Check for leaks.
Let's see, mix. That's good. No mix. That's good. Okay, so water is filled. So I'm gonna flush it a few times, make sure there's no water coming down in between here somewhere. If it comes down, it means the uh, seal is not quite right. So far nothing coming down yet, so that's good. Alright, just gonna flush a few more times. Still no leak, so that is good. Put the net on. Just a final wipe uh, with a dirty cloth, of course. Yeah. More fresh for good now. Yeah, this is old style toilet. It was fresh with six needle. So yeah, it fresh another water, but you know until until we replace the whole toilet, it's gonna do. Alrighty, that's this toilet done. Supply line replaced. <laughs> toilet flush handle was placed a few days ago. Fuel valve replaced. Flush valve replaced. And of course the washer is for the tank bolt. everything. Thank you for watching.